Welcome to Shambhavi Spectrum SMS Sewing Machine Speaks series. Today, my wonderful guest is Sara Shaji. Sara, thank you so much for finding the time to be here. Thank you so much for uh, inviting me on this uh, such an amazing series. Thank you. I, first, I have to be grateful to you that you have actually been um, following the previous uh, guests I had and you've been commenting on them and appreciating them. Thank you so much for that. It no, means it, a lot to us. <laughs> it's a really, uh, actually, I really feel the, uh, I mean, that uh, with this series, I really feel the uh, touch from this. <laughs> na? So that's that's <laughs> why I uh, I feel really interesting, actually. this. <laughs> so that's why I'm following this series. Great. Thank you so much. And before we start, actually, all about your journey, I want to share a small video with the audience, some of it from what you sent me the material. It's not Thank all you. because there were too many, but right <laughs> now I want to share this. <laughs> Sara, that is just a little small portion of the amount of things that you do. Let us step back a little bit in time and tell me where, when, and how did your sewing machine journey start? Okay. So actually, my journey started back in um, 2003. Uh, when after my 10th grade, uh, I got admission in a, a diploma that is called the dress making and dress designing skill so at that time uh, in that diploma also there was the subject of uh, painting sketching and all these things um, and i was at that age was more interested in this sketching and um, uh, painting and all these things huh? so that's why i uh, i took interest in that diploma and obviously my mother had in mind that i will eventually learn this uh, sewing so after taking this diploma in the, um, I think the first year I made my mind that uh, I will teach uh, these um, skills um, and uh, um, hopefully in the same college. That was my dream at that age. <laughs> so uh, after uh, completing my that diploma, uh, I uh, did a one year internship in the same college as a trainee teacher. So that's how it started. <laughs> so. so interesting that you say this about uh, skill teaching because I did my MBA from Mahe Manipal and I always wanted to go back there as a teacher and I'm a teacher now. So I think there is some special happiness in going back and giving back to the institution. And like you said, you worked for one year as an intern and, and your ambition was that. How lovely. But when did you actually start? sewing i mean your mother so did you have a machine at home what kind of a machine was that uh, yeah um uh, actually we had a machine um uh, like that black vintage uh, type of machine uh with motor my mother also knows uh stitching very well she's uh, stitch um, she used to stitch our dresses just as a hobby uh, but it was not uh, that uh, she never taught me that skill at that age because uh, according to her that cooking is more important that first you <laughs> learn how to cook and then after that uh, uh, that was in plan that at some stage uh, I will learn from her uh, but um, uh, 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 I uh, started with the uh, college. So the first thing I stitch in, in my college. So I never learned from my mother, but obviously uh, she's behind this uh, to go, uh, got me the admission and all these things. So that's how it started. <laughs> nice. So two things. One is cooking is a skill. I hope people who are listening... <laughs> <laughs> do figure that out it's not just something it is yeah a skill. yeah it's, uh, <laughs> uh, because uh, uh, if you um 
everyone can cook is not a problem but if you have a habit to do something na so it's it it will not bother you in uh, your life it's uh, very easy for you you can uh, uh, do just like this <laughs> <laughs> so i i i totally agree with you on that and the second question which i wanted to ask you is so did you also start with pillow cases and cushion cases and things for the sewing in your <laughs> uh, no. sewing when you started the sewing part where did it start what did you make first okay uh, so um because it was a diploma so uh, basically it's all the technical uh, type of subject that uh, first uh, they uh, taught us how to make the patterns and then how to cut the dresses according to that pattern so i want to show you the my, my very first um, project uh, Please that do. i did <laughs> Please uh, do. see this this is the thing that i first did oh, that is so complicated sara what are you saying this was the first thing you did and look at the yeah. collars they are so well done so pointed and i mean for people who are into sewing they would know <laughs> and yeah piping, and you, is that you a piping the, in the in yes the, this is this wow. is the piping and oh, uh, this God. is the first time i stitched something and uh, i think the credit goes to teacher as well yes, they are absolutely. very experienced yes. and very calm uh, to um, teach us such a beginner you, so... you are a natural let me tell you that you are a natural at <laughs> it <laughs> thank you due, so much due respects to the teachers and really like you said um that uh, so where is this institution where you learned this uh, let us give I... a shout out to them ha uh, actually um, it it is uh, in pakistan uh, that is by government of pakistan um, the name of institute is um, um this is under tevta and at that time we were uh, we were in a city that is called bahawalpur in pakistan na? so right. but in uh, the, the branches of that institutes are in all over the pakistan so this is um, by government and this diploma is like uh, if you take admission after your matric uh, or, or your 10th grade so after completing this diploma you can get admission in um, graduation that also i did after this uh, the diploma and uh, the uh, the uh, course subject like the english um st uh, islamic studies or uh, park studies this type of uh, um subjects are also included no so it's like okay. academic type of thing okay so so did you have a theory exam for this then did you have yes. to draw drawing and like you know not only the practical you had a theory exam for this then yes theory exam or also the uh, all the um, notes like how to uh, machine if you uh, you have a, a issue in machine how to handle that and what are in the fashion uh, like um, in the designing uh, there is lot a lot of see the the whole three year we are just like do, doing the work all day so because they, uh, there is also subject like figure drawing so you you know how to a uh, sketch for a um, model and how to you design and also the uh, you know that textile type of designing so all these things are included in this uh, diploma so one question which i want to ask you and i want our audience to understand this because this was supported by the government and was your fees like reasonable and something which uh, you know which was affordable for many people what what did uh, the fee structure look like yeah the fee structure is was okay um obviously my parents can uh, <laughs> tell better but the material cost is so much because uh, um, once uh, in i think sec uh, in third year we friends were talking about our diploma cost so it was at that time in lakhs uh, uh, to collect only the um, uh, material and all these thing because they they uh, because there is uh, also the embroidery the knitting and uh, i mean the material cost is so much it, but the, otherwise yes. yeah but otherwise fees is reasonable yeah no i asked you this question because many people uh, you know join institutions where the fees itself is very high plus you always have this added cost of uh, the Yeah, material, material which is going to be so you brought a very important point that even if people let's say somebody goes uh, somebody sponsoring someone to learn a skill and they say okay you go and join i will pay your fees but what is to understand is that it is going to cost for the material also and yes. uh, thank you sara for bringing that out because as such uh, when you ever you take a skill the additional cost one doesn't like really you know look at it but i'm glad we looked at it right now and um, so this is how your sewing machine uh, journey started and uh, yes. then then what did uh, 
So wait, before I do anything else, I want to share with the audience your beautiful YouTube channel. So let's just hold for a second. And it's here. Yes. So 13.1K subscribers, big. <laughs> Thank you so <laughs> Congratulations. much. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you and so much. Yes. And you have all these listed out and I'm sure people can check and also share the description later. Yes, yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Tell me, how did this happen? How did your YouTube channel happen? Okay. Um, so there is a little bit uh, long story. Uh, <laughs> Please uh, share it. It's yours. <laughs> so uh, actually, uh, after completing this diploma, uh, I am uh, then and after uh, did this um, one year tr um, in as an attorney, um, we shifted from that uh, city. And then I got admission in mass communication, B uh, BS mass communication. So from there, um, uh, I have an idea that I should start um, an online magazine. Uh, you know that uh, at that time, the printed magazine are there, the family uh, magazine. So I thought that uh, idea that uh, there is not enough material in Urdu, spe uh, especially uh, about this um, crochet or embroidery and all these things. Huh? So um, uh, um, I thought that I should start an online magazine where I uh, share all these things and in Urdu. No? So um, the Salika Mag name uh, was given by mother. Oh I discussed, <laughs> yeah, I discussed this with my my idea at that time that uh, I want to start this uh, thing. So because Salika means is something um, you do in a very uh, mannerful way, but especially it's uh, uh, like the it's uh, considered as uh, a woman who is. Uh, very good in housekeeping skills, something like that. No? So I started that online magazine. Uh, I think it's uh, 2010, um, 2009 or 10. Uh, this is the phase. But that time I realized uh, that there is not enough female audience uh, on, uh, because there is not smartphone out there. And so I added uh, the all other things like... Um, um, articles and politics and all these things because th at that time I was studying the ma uh, mass communication so I, I added all these things so that's how this Salika Mag uh, name, uh, the name came, came. <laughs> okay. yeah and uh, yeah, tell me go ahead go ahead okay so um, uh, after that, I uh, I also receive a um, uh, shield from uh, for uh, from here the World Writers Forum in Dubai uh, wow. for that magazine. Uh, but I discontinue um, that website because obviously I have my uh, personal like uh, uh, my babies uh, are very small and all these things. But uh, I continue this on my YouTube as well. The same articles and all these things. So it was a mixed thing. So I was not very focused on this niche. So how I started, uh, because and also I was uh, um, busy in uh, giving the in-person classes. So um, it uh, started seriously after the pandemic. So then I thought, yeah, then I thought that now it, it's the time that I should focus on uh, my channel only because obviously um, with pandemic people are not uh, um, attending the in-person classes and all these things. So I remove all my other stuff like uh, I had the recipes and all these things. So I remove all this so, and focus the um, uh, only this niche, the dressmaking skills. So that's okay. how I started. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you mean to tell me that in the last two, two and a half years, you have accumulated so many subscribers? Yeah. Uh, when uh, when I had uh, this mixed thing, then, uh, then I, um, I had um, uh, around 7,000 uh, um, subscribers. But because I was not active, so my monetization was also disabled. Okay. Uh, so I started again from scratch, but uh, the uh, subscriber from the 7,000 uh, to this uh, figure, is uh, it, it took almost one year to achieve this. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, but uh, so you were not focused on that. You were focused on actually doing the patterns and bringing that out. So, so tell me, um, how do you work? How do you record? What do you do? Um, 
what comes in your mind you know when you think that okay i have to put this up uh, what kind of research do you do share a little bit that journey with us uh to start the channel no no the when you put up something new let's say you want to put up something new this week on your how often do you post okay okay so um uh, usually uh, initially i um work on my idea uh, because uh, i was more focused the beginner uh, stuff because uh, um, see there are a lot of obviously the tutorials are there but our uh, beginners is uh, something uh, sometimes it's very blank so uh, i i focus on that part that uh, you each and every step that as a student i uh, had in my mind at when i was learning this uh, thing so th- that's how i um, especially i um, um, uploaded a complete course uh, from the scratch uh, as well so and also it uh, depends sometime i got some viewers request that you have to do this and uh, obviously it's also that i search that uh, Uh, what is in demand and different people already uploaded a uh, tutorial but what is uh, different that they miss some if uh, some information and something so that's how i um, uh, put up all these things <laughs> yeah so i think though there are so many youtube videos available we all have somebody uh, who we become comfortable with two three channels and then we follow them it, because yes, we exactly. feel, isn't it so is who are the channels that you follow and you like to uh, watch them learn from them who, can you share some of that um there is a couple of uh, channel um one is uh, um that is indian channel amina boutique uh, i followed uh, him because he is a, a gents tailor so mm. i always uh, curious about this that what are their techniques <laughs> so that's why i follow uh, him and um, some other also uh, i'm also very interested to start uh, something new like uh, draping techniques and uh, um uh, Uh, different uh, more area i want to explore so the, that's how different channel i uh, used to <laughs> watch <laughs> very good so between kids women and men which one is your personal favorite to talk patterns and as well as stitch um Uh, obviously women because demand also are uh, there as well but uh, as a mother obviously uh, it is more <laughs> more protective if i stitch the but there is also um, like uh, um, uh, women are wa- wanted to learn the kids dresses so nowadays i'm uh, more focusing on the kids dresses like um, frocks and different type of circle skirts and all these things Uh, in your channel do you also give advice for um, how to uh, buy fabric or where to buy from do you give those kind of suggestions also actually um honestly speaking i'm not very um expert in the material part of the fabric <laughs> uh but i can give advice on the machines and all this stuff uh, i can give advice on that <laughs> yes. great so our machine everybody especially in the dubai stores is always asking us what machine to buy and how to judge you know machine mm. value you tell us what do you suggest to people uh actually uh, i uh, usually uh, suggest my student in person student a particular mod- model uh, i don't know i have to name uh, that or not no but, no no uh, problem it's a it's a you're not it's sponsored a, by anyone it's, okay. <laughs> it's it's a brother model uh, i think 37 or 32 something that type 27, of 27 gs 2700 is that right um yeah yeah this uh, yeah. gs uh, one is gs 2700 yeah, and, and one, one is gs 37 uh, yeah. uh, i uh, recommended mostly that because it has all the basic uh, like feature in um, the fair price uh, it has the uh, inbuilt bobbin uh, the one step button hole twin needle all these things uh, but i have singer the both my surger and all these uh, are singer <laughs> I, i have three machine all are singer but i always suggest my student brother <laughs> <laughs> so do, do you have an embroidery machine also um actually i uh, this i have this uh, sorry uh, this one uh, this the zigzag one but not uh, um the digital embroidery machine 
Okay, so uh, so do I you actually, do embroidery in this? Do you use this to do freehand embroidery? Uh, actually, uh, it was my dream. <laughs> it is my <laughs> dream that I get time. Uh, I learned uh, machine embroidery in my diploma, uh, but with that uh, black machine with the pedal. So with free hand, uh, um, uh, we uh, learned different stitches in that machine. So, um, but I never get a chance to. Um, I know do how to do this, but uh, obviously with kids, I never had a chance to create something. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, Sarah, tell me something about your viewers or, you know, um, some what kind of requests do you get for um, uh, making patterns or sharing information and any a story which you like, you know, which really touched you or the way you felt that, you know, you've made a change in somebody's life. Is there anything like that? Um, yeah, I'm all, uh, actually, my viewers are from again all over the world, and uh, sometimes um, I got uh, a few um, comments that why you are not talking in Urdu. Uh, but the reason behind this is uh, that my viewers and also my ex students are all uh, from all over the world. It's like Germany, UK, also USA. So it's all of, uh, from all over the world, and. Um, Yes, every time, uh, every comment uh, means me a lot uh, because whenever someone uh, uh, um, just uh, say that uh, you really, I'm really learning from you or uh, even I'm surprised uh, uh, in one of group, I was not in even that group and someone tagged me um, as a suggestion that you should learn from the Salika Mag. She's, uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so that, that type of thing is really encouraged me to continue. And so uh, that's, that's so that's, wonderful to be known as an expert in your field. I think everybody seeks that. And if people are tagging you for that, that means you are where you should be. Thank so, you so I, I wish you all the very best. What are your future plans with your channel or with anything um, regarding sewing? What are your future plans? Uh, um I should. Uh, I I plan to continue my this uh, channel as well. More focus on my channel because it is something that you can do without any um, the licensing part of anything. So, but hopefully, if uh, I um, I mean I manage to get the license and all these things, so uh, sure I will do something to uh, expand my this all this. Uh, activities that, that that would be wonderful and we would look uh, forward to the growth of uh, your channel and Thank your you so information much. base have you thought of publishing a book of all these which you have made uh, yeah it's it's also in one of my dream uh, especially <laughs> the <laughs> uh, so in urdu is the hazaro khwaish aisi ke har khwaish pe dam nikle so i have a lot of dreams in my mind uh, but see uh, when uh, uh, i'll be able to do that especially the pattern breaking part this is something uh, i can um, uh, i can write something so uh, so let's see <laughs> so we look forward to that in the later Inshallah. part of this year we are definitely in article uh, nowadays we have option for ebooks also so maybe you yes. will publish as an ebook that would also be wonderful and yes um, inshallah i, I will all... mm -hmm. please yeah sure yeah i then... will explore how to do, do this uh, um, obviously the ebooks and all this thing no? so I, inshallah <laughs> that that would be wonderful so thank you so much for being here on uh, this Saturday morning, finding some time for me. I'll say bye to you here in front of our audience, but we'll catch up. So don't go away. Okay. Thank you so much yeah. for having me. Thank you so much. Thank it's you. lovely talking to you. Same here. Thank you so much. Thank you.